Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I am here with day number 17 of the best of 30 days of sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life. And here is this super cool sketch by Laura Rumble for Lottie Loves Paper. And it is one single picture and on the sketch it says two by three and I actually am going to turn it because my picture is this absolutely adorable picture of my dog sleeping. Oh, like she's photogenic anyway, but come on. Oh, and now I put it right down in the glare. Sorry. Uh, anyway, so my picture is horizontal, and but I really wanted to use it for this page because it's one of the only ones that's this small that I want to use for a whole, you know, one picture on a page. So I pull out my Echo Park I Love My Dog. And I also have this Recollections um, Puffy um, Dog Paws and the frames and tags. And then I have that black paper for matting my layout. And then I have the stickers, this amount of stickers left over on in this kit. So I've used this quite a bit. Um, and then there's all these little um, dots or sewing stitching lines. But I am going to use these Enamel Accents by Ranger and it's in the black tie to make my little dots and I have no clue how I'm going to do it whether it's like the little butterfly fluttery kind of things but my plan is to use some of the stickers from this collection um, as where the butterflies are so I got my papers I've got these uh, enamel dots and this awesome sketch so let's see how this goes so the first thing I did was find a paper that um, was going to contrast enough on this paper, uh, on the background paper. And I was originally planning on doing the whole thing on that puppy dog paw right there. But I didn't feel like the um, pattern of those little dots were going to stand out on that. So I cut a piece of that puppy paw paper, say that real fast three times. And I matted it on there so you can get a little bit of the colors that are in this collection because I'm not sure at this point what I'm bringing in. And then I mat it on this red dog bone paper because I know that is going to stand out. Now I do end up matting it again with a wonky mat on black, but there is parts where the red is what is like touching the white paper because it's one, like it's cockeyed, the black matte is cockeyed. So I'm glad that I used that dark color because I didn't really want to ink anything. So I started to put it down as a flat, um, just the next layer. But then I happened to look and notice that it looked like it is kind of tilted. So I tilted it and then I just trim it out so that there's a little corner of black poking out from the top, the sides and the bottom. So, and I love the way that it um, looks. I love this layout and in all honesty I probably could have done this layout in maybe 15 minutes but I'm watching Graham Norton <laughs> and I kept stopping to watch something and I hem hawed about the paper in the beginning so um, anyway so I distressed the white background paper with my Tim Holtz distressor and then I already tacked that down and then I am going to put my picture down to where the picture is straight at the top in comparison to the the top of the paper. I didn't want to put it to where the black cockeyed mat was straight. I wanted the picture to be straight. So I got that down and then I get out the I Love My Dog frames and tags and y'all are <laughs> the only thing I use from here is a scrap from the one of the frames that I've used before and all I have is a little piece left over and the inside circles from all the tags like all the little tags have these little dots like the little circles that you punch out of them and I keep those because they match the paper and I can use them as the little um, scattering pieces like the little three dots so I use those and I'm going to set them aside until I'm ready to get to actually use them but everything else just seemed too big Nothing else was going to work for me. So here's that little piece of tag, and it actually matches that background paper, the red background paper, but I put it behind the black so it's not, um, you know, like the red on red. And I love the way that looks. That is not a part of the sketch, 
but I really like that and it was a good way to use that up. So, and then I am gonna put a sticker over that little gap um, up there where it's white behind there. And I use this little I Love My Dog. That is actually part of the branding strip and I keep those because I think it's a cute little thing that you can use to decorate your layout. And of course I love my dog, so it's super fitting. And I just lay that evenly with the red up at the top, or at the bottom, I mean. And it brings in that blue. It has the red from the paper. And, of course, that stinking cute little doggy. Uh, not as cute as my dog, but it's a cute doggy. And so now I have the enamel accents. And I just literally kind of went cuckoo with them. And I didn't care if it was big and small. Um, a couple of them I made all big. Some of them I made little, big, little, big. I didn't put them in the same, like, quarter inch apart or anything. Some of them are close. Some of them are distant. I really just kind of wanted it to be um, kind of loosey-goosey. Um, and so it wasn't necessarily, since I wasn't doing, like, butterfly wings and stuff like that to where it felt like it was like a little trail from the butterfly. Um, and I could have put my... Um, stickers and embellishments down and then did the dots like that's what I do with the top but I really didn't care like I was kind of just going to put things wherever I wanted them and then work everything else in so right now I'm putting some Nouveau Deluxe down in random places where there's big gaps or places I feel like I can fit things and then I take the little dots from the inside of all these different tags and I just put them down and they're yellow tan, navy blue, light blue, red. Um, I mean, they're just a hodgepodge of colors that bring everything together from the mat in that picture. Plus, I use tan, a tan sticker, a black sticker, a yellow sticker. There's red on the stickers. There's blue on one of the stickers. So it kind of brings all of it together. And I really kind of love the way that, there's gemstones, it looks like, on this sketch. And I just use these instead. Although I didn't put any above the picture. But I'm okay with that because I think that the little black polka dots do the trick. And I feel like looking at this, I could do like a Dalmatian layout this way. But I don't have a Dalmatian. I don't own one. I don't have any pictures of one. So, you know, put that on the back burner of my brain for one day when that ever comes up. <laughs> so I'm pulling this sticker out. And it's like a little um, speech bubble. I think it says good dog or something like that. I did not... Yeah, I did not end up using that. I actually take that off. Ugh, I've still put her right in the middle of that. Sorry. I'm so sorry you all can't see her cute little face because their glare is right there. But my room is too dark because of the way we have moved everything around because we're getting ready to move. And so I don't have proper lighting in here. And I just using my overhead light is too dark in here. And then when I use my hot light, it adds this lovely glare and the big shadows so I apologize for the terrible lighting hopefully in a week when you see my next layout sometime after the 21st or so hopefully the lighting will be better we shall see so anyway I am just adding from this I love my dog sticker sheet and I'm bringing in the puppy paws I think the only other thing I bring in other than puppy paws is one dog bone and I do end up exchanging that white um, bubble, speech bubble, with a little, the yellow one that's got the doggy bone. And Because I felt like she's not saying anything. She's also not saying good dog. But she may very well be dreaming of a juicy bone to chew on or something. Because that wouldn't surprise me. She definitely likes her food, but she prefers things like peanut butter. So I pull this off into some, this little sticker here and it says beware of the dog. And I felt like that was kind of tongue in cheek, kind of funny because she looks super vicious, especially in this picture. Um, if anything, she will like choke you on her fluff balls or something. She is the sweetest dog. And other than barking at every car that drives by, she will not uh jump on you except my daughter she adores her so much she jumps on her all the time she's 20 um and she will not lick your face she'll lick your hands but she won't lick your face um she's just the best dog so um my other dog is fabulous too he's just not as photogenic as tinkerbell because he is um 
more like his mom and his older brother who have ADD. <laughs> so he doesn't sit still. And as soon as I pull my camera out, he like turns away. He's a little stinker. But I do have pictures to document of him. So you will be seeing him soon. Um, so anyway, while I was rambling, I added a little doggy bone and I didn't want to push it down with my fingers because that ink is, or that, uh, accents are still drying, although they dry pretty quickly. Um, but I used my little, um, I just completely blanked on what they're called. Tweezers, you all, they're called tweezers. I just used those to push them down. So it would be sticking onto the page. So I get out the little recollections puffy. They're almost like on foam more than like a puffy. Because they're not like plastic. They're like up on a, um, a little foam bit. And so then I put those down. And then after I get them down, I use the enamel dots to make some more little um, squiggly lines up at the top of the picture. And I'm sure that when they put this together, they thought that whoever did it would create the lovely dotted pattern and then put their pictures down and embellish yeah well I don't do anything the normal way you all um if you've seen any of my videos I'm assuming you already know that so now on the sketch I looked at the sketch to see if I was missing anything and there is some journaling um in the actual sketch the journaling is under the picture but since I turned it I put it in the same place but obviously it's going the other direction or it would be you know hard to read. So I use my Tim Holtz and I have be your beautiful self, love you and live gently upon this earth. And I thought that was fitting. And I kind of tucked one of them underneath the title or that little speech bubble with the doggy bum. So here is the sketch, how it is meant to be. And of course I turned it that way. Um, so it would work for my picture and I love how this turned out. You all, it is, it was a super easy layout and I believe that I will be using this again because it was such a fun idea. And you could use a bigger picture and just have less space for all the little dotty dots. And I may even do this again with like some packaging technique or something. I just think it's super fun. And I love those enamel dots. I could do it on black with white dots. Ooh. Oh, the ideas are streaming. Anyway, I hope you all have a fantastic day. Please go down in the description box and click on that hashtag. That will take you to all of the amazing people who are hopping along with 30 Days of Sketches. And I hope to see you tomorrow for day 18. Have a great day and happy scrapping.